This is going to be a video on how to keep your conversation going on a first date or just a date in general. Yeah, that's right. No more of those awkward pauses. No more of those brain scrambles where you're getting all nervous, waiting for the perfect thing to say. Because you can break it down to this simple rule and just practice this rule and all the rest will fall into place. And that rule is, is a man, you talk 20% of the time, let her talk 80% of the time. I know that doesn't sound like a groundbreaking rule, but if you really think about it, most of the times in the past that I was nervous about what to say or uh, when there'd be like this long awkward pause, it was when I ran out of things to say and then I fumbled for words and I didn't know what to say and I just sat there awkwardly. So if you can start the conversation and keep the conversation all night, mainly focused on her, you won't have a problem because of two things. One, women love to talk. They absolutely love to talk. Just watch a group of women and you'll have to agree, they love to talk. And two, everybody likes to talk about themselves and knows how to talk about themselves. So a different approach to what maybe you did in the past or at least what I did in the past was if I was always thinking of conversation topics like uh, what's your favorite vacation spot or um, what do you do for work or blah 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 and I just kept trying to think of new conversations or I kept trying to think of things that I could say eventually you run out and you're not in the moment with women because you're in your head thinking. So the way to be in the moment with women and have these great conversations is ask her questions, but you don't want her to talk 80% of the time because you're asking her 800 questions. Each question should lead you down a deeper and deeper path. So take your first question whatever it is you want to talk about. Let's just say we're going to ask what she does for a living or what she's passionate about. Either way, let's just say, what do you do for a living? And she tells you she's a teacher. Instead of going, oh, okay, well, uh, what do you do on the weekends? What's your favorite movie? And just ask her a bunch of questions. Stay on that topic, that teacher topic, and go a little bit deeper by trying to ask questions that she hasn't been asked before. So with the teacher thing, you could say, oh, a teacher, why? Why did you get into that? Like, what was it that excited you about that? So if you just keep digging deeper, but you're asking like the why, and then you're really curious about it, she will have a lot of fun answering that question for you, and then, that story she tells you about will lead to another topic you can ask more about. Now what will happen is eventually women will go, oh, I feel like I've talked about myself this whole time. Now your turn, tell me about you. And now if she asks me what I do, whatever I say, which I guess it's, it's kind of an interesting story nowadays with what I do do, with teaching men how to date, but I always try to give her as little as possible and then I put it back on her. So let's just say that I was telling a woman about what I do. You know, I help men be able to communicate more effectively with women. Now I'm going to leave it right there. I'm not going to blab my whole head off. Then I might ask her, what is it that, you know, is there any like big difference you've seen in how men and women communicate? So I took what she was asking me about and now I answered really short, but then I put it back on her. So now I'm bringing her back into the conversation. And the more you can do this, this will work wonders for you. This doesn't just work on girls, guys. This works in all areas of life. I'll do a, a really quick example. A girl asked me at, on a Christmas party 
And she asked me specifically because she's like, I know that any other guy I bring will get intimidated by her boss, who was this very successful like chiropractor. And he was with a couple other doctors out and it was her, she was the assistant and a couple other people. And she's like, I know all any other guy I bring will be intimidated. They'll be kind of shy and all that. And she's like, I know that you'll know how to have fun and how to join the conversation. And so what I did with this chiropractor is I just became really interested. Now, on my days off, am I going to Google chiropractor um, work and become fascinated with it? Me, personally, no. It doesn't really do me, um, it doesn't really give me any type of like excited like boner or anything. But in this scenario, this chiropractor knows chiro he, he knows how to do his job really, really well. So a random guy like me, who he's not gonna know how to relate to me, I simply asked him questions about chiropractic, like that job, and I kept going deeper. Oh, why, how did you get into this? And I found out all these really cool stories about this guy that the girl I went with who had been his assistant for multiple years, she's like, I had no idea that the reason he became a chiropractor is because he had a really, really like severe back problem when he was a kid and he couldn't play sports. And when he finally went to a chiropractor and started to work out his back, he realized how life-changing it could be. That was something that I got out of him because I asked him questions, I stayed curious, and I let the conversation go wherever it went. So again, recap with going on dates with women, ask them questions, don't ask a million, ask fewer questions and go deeper with them. And anytime you get stuck, anytime you're like, oh shoot, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, that's why the whole time you're talking to her, when you're letting her talk so much, you're listening, you're getting all sorts of information that whenever it's an awkward silence, now you can ask about something that she mentioned and all the talking you just let her do. And realize how much easier that is. And then, not only is it easier on you as the guy, she goes home from that date thinking, oh my gosh, I've never felt so understood. I've never had a guy listen so well. You know, women are craving this. You'll hear them say this all the time. He never listens. He never listens. He never listens. You can be that guy. It's easier on you. It gives her a great experience. You get to learn more about this girl to really start to figure out, is she someone that you might want in your life long term or not? So all of this stuff will have really good results for you just the more you practice that very simple approach. Ask questions, seem interested, and dig deeper.